think my message to the new mayor has to be to get the infrastructure up and running. Better infrastructure, better cycling facilities, uh, a new airport uh, needs to be sorted out. The whole of the infrastructure needs to be needs to be cracked. And also to encourage really high quality buildings. Encourage, I think, more towers, but have very high quality. My message to the mayor is that you're going to have to be much braver. Uh, you're going to have to uh, look at a whole wide range of initiatives to increase London's housing supply. There is no single magic bullet and nothing should be completely off limits. Firstly, you really must continue the work that previous mayors have done to bang the table for London in terms of getting the best deal from government. Londoners really like the way the mayor has gone out there and promoted this great city and uh, that should continue and I believe that might be even more important if we end up voting for Brexit in a few weeks' time. My message and HLM's message for the new mayor is that what we would like to see is a continuation of the kind of leadership that Boris has brought, irrespective of the political dimension. Boris has started some interesting processes about joined up regeneration, working with local authorities, bringing the strength of regional government to that. And you know, I think we want to see more of that. My message to the new mayor is that Crossrail 2 has to be London's number one priority. In this part of London, in North London, we know that capacity issues on the Piccadilly line are really, really acute. And although an upgrade of that line will help, we will not deliver the new homes. We will not solve London's housing crisis without building the Wood Green Southgate Spur. I think it's really important that the new mayor takes innovative ideas to solve London's housing problem. Now we have a 21st century problem, but we have a 19th century industry delivering them. We've really got to think hard have new ideas if we're going to deliver anything like the number of homes that are needed. From NLA's perspective, we're going to be working hard to help the Mayor create a really good new London plan. And as a part of that, we think it's really important that we have some real vision for the shape of the city of the future. And absolutely central to that is that the Mayor commissions a three-dimensional virtual model of the whole of London that can help the planning team plan better and help the communities, local communities, understand what is happening to their city.